This is a video on ordered hashing part 3. In this video, we look at a form of hashing which is ideally suited for both databases as well as for data compression. Our objective is to map a number which is less than m to a number which is less than s and again s m is equal to 2 power l dash and s is equal to 2 power l where l dash is equal to n times l typically n will be if if it is a byte n will be 8 if it is 2 bytes such as unicode n could be 16 now <coughs> generally this is ideally suited for n less than fairly less than l or close to l square the method is very very simple and it is ideal and it can be used for data compression as well. So if we take these are the n bits leading n bits if this is the value of information to be hashed which is l bits zeroth bit is here l dash minus oneth bit is here and these are n bits. Let's say this belongs to the digit dl minus one. Okay, so now we have to ha hash it to L bits here. Yeah. Okay, so what we have to do is first, all the remaining digits are there, we will mask it and make it all zeros. And take the nth root, call this masked value as k L minus 1. We take the nth root of k L minus 1 and add it to S. Next, in the next step, the same key, same one only, same information on the same key only. Now we take the next n bits here. Suppose it's d l minus two, zero again, l dash minus one. This one, let's call it k l minus two. Again, we take the nth root of this and we add it again. Now we know that if a number is not a perfect root, the root of that perfect nth power, then the root of that number will be an irrational quantity. So every time you add, you should also take a reasonable amount of fractional value of it as well for all of these roots and then add them together so that the, finally you can truncate it and remove the fractional part or the decimal part. So you'll be left with only this value. In the third step again similar to this only what we have to do is we have to take the key here or the information here to be coded this will be okay, l dash minus 1 this will be true and this will be we have to take the dl l minus 3 here yeah. we set all of these to zero similarly and then take call this k l minus 3 take the nth root of k l minus 3 and add it again you can perform this for all the digits or all the characters in the information of the key that has to be hashed now this form of hashing is ideally suited both for database compression as well as for data base access. A very large number can be effectively coded in a very very small number as a very very small number, a large number such as a string. So n itself can be fairly large, it can come close to l, so l dash nearly equal to l square, close to that it won't be, may not, it may not be as ideally suited for such a large value, but it's very uh, suited for strings and other forms of data. Company. 